How's it going guys? It's Tactics HD here bringing you episode 6 of my NHL 12 Billion Deadly Dynasty series. And uh, as you guys can see right here, I'm just showing you my starting lineup with the Colorado Avalanche. It's the first year I've had the Colorado Avalanche. And uh, if you guys remember from last episode, I had a really good stat, so I'm hoping this will be a good year. Right there's the AHL team. And um, right here you can see 100 offense, 99 defense, 91 goalies. So we're a stack team. And I didn't do anything until the All-Star game, so I just skipped right to it. And... Um, as you guys will see, I only had one player make the All-Star team, I'm pretty sure, but um, I had a couple of players from uh, teams that the previous GM4 make it, but uh, Duchesne made it on the third line center, and that was it. And I was hoping maybe uh, Varlamov would make it, but he had goalie, but he didn't. And we're here at the trade deadline, guys, and I made one trade with the Detroit Red Wings. I traded my second round pick in the 2018 draft for their second round pick in the 2018 draft with all the defenseman Austin Winnick. Um, defensive defenseman C, B minus, B minus potential. I thought that was pretty good. And uh, considering the fact that I'll probably finish higher than Detroit, I mean, really a win-win, getting an extra prospect and a higher pick for me. And um, right here at the end of the season, we're 47-29-6. We finished third in the Western Conference. Uh, we won our division. And the first round of the playoffs, we have to play Detroit Red Wings. And I was feeling pretty confident until I looked at the injuries, and I seen that uh, Semyon Varlamov was injured. And uh, usually I don't have very good luck when uh, my starting goalie is injured in the playoffs. And um, as you guys see, we lost the first game 3 nothing. so... Letting three goals, we couldn't score, and, um, I don't know why I'm just sitting here, that's my bad, guys, for not skipping by that. And anyway, guys, as you can see, I ended up losing the next four games, Detroit, uh, shut us out, which kind of sucks, but, um, that's usually what happens when you have your goalie injured. I uh, I don't know why, but whenever your starting goalie gets injured, you really just can't win a game, especially in the playoffs, they make it really hard. And, um, as you guys remember, I signed Carlson, and I, as a restricted free agent, I had to go with my first and third round picks. As well, I had signed Joe Colborn, I got my second, so my first round pick was a fourth pick, and I signed that guy. He had seven, six and a half, and six potential, so that was pretty good. Good uh, prospect defenseman. And right here, guys, I'm just re-signing all of my uh, players. I'm pretty sure I uh, bring everybody back, except for a couple older guys. Uh, fourth line left, left wing, I think Cody McCloy to let go. As well, um, Kyle Quincy, he's like 33 now. And uh, he wanted too much money for only being 83 overall. And I had a couple younger defensemen that were about 81, 82 overall. Wanted less money and uh, longer contracts. So I ended up keeping them. And I'm just going to take this time really quick, guys, to say thank you all so, so, so much uh, for liking that last video. If you guys haven't seen it, it was my NHL 12 uh, Road to Glory episode 18. Uh, that thing right now, I think, has about 75 likes. And um, I asked for 30 likes. I was really hoping it would get 30 likes. And I think it got 30 likes within like the first two hours. 50 with not even in a day and now it's at 75 in like a day and a half that's just crazy guys i can't thank you enough uh I, i'm guessing you guys uh you're watching that video sorry if you're watching this video you probably watched that video and uh, as you can see i did make an offer to quincy but uh he wouldn't take it um so whatever as well guys i have calvin Pickard as my uh, backup goalie and he's young but he won't he wants too much money i can't afford him and uh, i didn't end up making any signings over the off season uh simply because i had 100 offense last year I really didn't want to lower my offense and I can't raise it. So basically I decided to just keep the main core team I have and go again next year. I might make a couple improvements at the trade deadline or during the season. But besides that there's really not, not much more I can improve. As you can see 100 offense, 93 defense, 95 goalie. So my defense went down a little bit but my goalie went up. Hopefully next year we can win the cup. I mean this team is really good. And uh, besides that guys, sorry for the shorter video but I still hope you enjoyed it. And uh, have a nice day. Goodbye. Follow me on Twitter. You'll be the first one to know when I'm holding an open lobby or tournament, and it's an easy way to talk to me.